I went shopping yesterday. I haven't been for a while, just to see what there was, if there was anything reduced, and I was amazed. The shelves are so empty. Certainly fresh fruit and veg, no salad, no strawberries. A lot of the other shelves, a lot of things just not there. But I did manage to be there just at the right time. I saw the milk when it had been reduced once and then I went back later on as I'd looked round the store and he'd reduced it to 10 pence along with this beautiful kefir yoghurt down from, what is it, 3.50 to 10 pence. Large granary bread down to 10 pence. Fruit bread, 10 pence. Look at that, 5% minced beef, 5% fat down to 10 pence. Turkey sausages, 10 pence. Baby leeks, 10 pence. And butternut squash, 10 pence. So we'll see what sort of a meal we can make with all this. And of course, stock with staples. But if I've got any advice for you, just go out there. And if you need it, get it. And get one spare and pop it in your cupboards. Because who knows how long this is going to go on. Start the day, some of this lovely yoghurt that I got for 10 pence, and some of the fruit loaf that I got for 10 pence, some little jam, just a bit, after like that spoon, red currants that I foraged. Breakfast. So when you're buying things that are already peeled and sliced into fine slices like this, you have to use it quite quickly because the natural protection against bacteria that the outer skin gives has been taken away. So it won't keep. So I bought this yesterday. So I'm slicing it up today. Making a meal. It's the middle of the day here in the UK. And luckily my flat, the kitchen window faces west. And the living room window faces east. I have no windows on the south at all. So it's quite cool in the middle of the day, so it makes sense to cook, if I'm going to cook at all, cook in the middle of the day when it's cooler, plus your flat has time, or where you live has time to cool down. And if you're going to cook in hot weather, batch cook. And then all you have to do is warm it up. For lunch. Two of the sausages that I got for 10 pence, two slices of the bread for 10 pence. I'm cooking four of the sausages along with uh, some vegetables for the batch cooking. And I've got two sausages maybe for tomorrow morning or the day after. So we've got the squash with an ordinary potato and a sweet potato and look how much it's made. So there's enough there left over of the uh, mash that I could mix with an egg and perhaps fry it up and make fritters. Or I could add some cheese. But those sausages that I got for 10 pence will have made one, two, my sausage sandwich that I've just had and the sausages for tomorrow. So that's made four meals. So just go out there and see what you can find reduced. And if you do find anything reduced, when I got that meat, uh, I saw a lady had picked up a chicken that was reduced to 50p. So if you can get some food reduced, batch cook and freeze it. If 
you saw my video that I made with the pizza for under 35p 50 cents, the cheese that I got, I still had some left so over the top of the burger I've actually put some of that cheese and we'll just have a, a dollop of mayonnaise. So we've got some of the 10p bread, some of the 10p mince, some of the 10p cheese, a few sprouted lentils, I'll show you how to do that in another video, and that's another meal. If carrots are clean, I just give them a wash, don't peel them. So to half the mince that's left from making that burger, I'm adding some of the baby leeks. I had some celery left from what, way back. A uh, few potatoes. I've even got an apple, I might add an apple to it. And the other half I'm going to turn into a bolognese sauce and see how many meals we can get out of that 10p mince. So there we are, that's what I made with the rest of the mince. I think that will do twice, if not three times, with some spaghetti. And this, twice, if not three times. So shall we just say twice? So that's five meals from the mince and five meals from the sausages. The way I look at it, I treat it as a game. When I, when I go around a supermarket, I think it's a game. What can I get for as little as possible? And then when I come home, I think, how many meals can I make from this? So set yourself a challenge. Even if you don't actually find anything reduced, next time you go to the supermarket, get a few ingredients out and think to yourself, how many meals can I make from this? And just see what you can achieve. <laughs>